Okay. Good morning, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hey, Cheryl, look at my bag. <gasps> it's so pretty, Debbie. Oh, and look what it says. Be kind, have faith, love God. Yep. Guess what's inside? Can I look? No. Oh, darn it. Um, okay, I'll guess. Okay. How about a stuffed animal? Nope, too heavy. Mm. <gasps> How about a cupcake? Oh, I hope it's a cupcake. I mean, kind of like our mascot for VBS. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea, and I really want to go get cupcakes, but no, it's not a cupcake. Oh, darn, mm -hmm. darn. So, guys, what do you hope is in this bag? I mean, I hope it's a million dollars, but it's not. No, nope. you can't look. Oh, darn it. Okay, that's it. We're going to have to talk about the bag later. Okay, well, I do have a question for you, though. Okay. Exactly what is hope? Oh, that's an easy one. But instead of just telling you like what the dictionary says hope is, how about if we talk about a Bible story? <gasps> that sounds so good. That's a good idea. Okay, guys, so you know that we're learning all about the book of Ruth, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Correct. That's this whole month. Okay, so last week we talked about how Ruth traveled with her mother-in-law, Naomi, to Bethlehem. Remember? I do remember. Do you guys remember? Mm, hope so. I think they do. So they made this choice because both women were widowed and very, very poor. Naomi, who was getting old, wanted to go back to her old stomping grounds because she felt her situation was so hopeless where she was currently at. So sad. It really is. And Ruth, well, she knew if she went with her mother-in-law, life would still be hard and her chances of ever finding another husband Aww. is going to be like this. Oh, no. But there's one thing about Ruth. What? Ruth trusted in God, and she put all of her hope in Him. Oh, very good. Okay, so once they reached Bethlehem, then Naomi sent Ruth out into a field right, right off of where they lived, right? So here's the thing. There was a guy named Boaz who owned the field, and he noticed that after the people had harvested during the day, then Ruth would come and pick any little leftover grain that she could find, and she would take it back home. So Boaz one day went and asked his workers, do you know who this lady is? And they said, nope, she came back from Moab with Naomi, and that's all we know. So without the leftover grain to collect, Ruth and Naomi may have starved, yes. But here's a secret. Ruth didn't know that Boaz made sure that she was able to collect enough grain for her and Naomi to live on until uh -oh. she caught him helping her. Uh -huh. So Ruth asked him, why are you being so nice to me? I'm not even from here. Well, Boaz told her, I know what you've done for Naomi. You left your family and moved to a place you've never been. May the Lord reward you for all of your kindness. Oh, that's so nice. He's such a nice man. Yeah. So Ruth never lost hope that God would take care of her and Naomi. So the big idea today is to always remember that God gives us hope. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for always being there for us. We know that we can always have hope as long as we have you in our hearts. Amen. Amen. So, uh, you want to know what's in the bag? I do want to know. Ding, ding. <gasps> oh my gosh, there are so many. Look, you guys, it's Rice Krispie Treats. What are we going to do with all of these Rice Krispie Treats? We're going to share it with our friends. Oh, that is so wonderful. Yay. So, before you leave your Sunday school class today, when your parents pick you up, make sure you each get one. Yay. Have a great week, everyone. Bye.